Hello everyone. I am going to show you how to fix the white screen crash glitch with No Man's Sky. It's fairly simple. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it on video. If you want to just click the link in the description below and follow the instructions, I'm going to leave this link in the description below. This personally helped me. I have a Radeon 6970. The problem uh, with the crash is that uh, some of the requirements for OpenGL uh, 4.5 don't pass because there isn't like full support for a lot of graphics cards and this also means that like most if not all gaming laptops won't be able to play it because of this problem so if you want the workaround because you don't want to wait for the patch and you really wanted to play the game like me it's fairly simple so the tool that you're going to need is GL Intercept. All you need to do is go to uh, the GitHub link down in the description below. Save the file and you'll go ahead and install it. It's going to install uh, into the C program file path. Now, if, um, if you have a, a D drive or an E drive or an F drive, whatever you're running on, uh, that's pretty much uh, not super relevant. You're going to be able to do some edits to that. I'll show you that just in case because uh, it was a little confusing for me. I didn't know there were multiple places where I needed to do that. Um, so I'm going to go over to Program Files and we're going to go to Program Files GL Intercept X64 1 underscore 3 underscore 3 and let's see we're going to copy the OpenGL 32 DLL from there so you just go right here copy and you are going to you're gonna go ahead and paste uh, that into where No Man's Sky is located, into where the binary is located. So an easy way to do this is go to Steam, click Properties, go to Local Files, and click Browse Local Files. It'll open right up for you. Bam. Go right in here. You're going to go ahead and hit Paste. You can see mine's already in there. And then now for the next set, the next step, which is pretty easy, uh, you're going to download the configuration file, which is over here from Dropbox. I'm going to put this link down in the description as well. You're going to go ahead and save it. It is a zip file, so you're going to want to extract it with something like WinRAR or uh, 7-zip or whatever. You're going to take the file that you extracted and you're going to put it right here in the same folder. And so now you're going to want to make sure that the installation path is the same for the GL intercept for C program files GL intercept. If it's not, you might have a little bit of difficulty. Um, so you're going to go ahead and edit with something like Notepad++. It's another free tool. It's great. I recommend you have it. Um, and so I'm just going to go down here. And as you can see, anything that said C, I had to change to D because my drive is a D drive, not a C drive. Uh, my C drive is mainly just used for storage and my boot drive is my D drive. So if you're like me and you have a different drive that's not the C drive, you're going to need to change the file path. Um, if you don't know what that means, you probably have a C drive, you don't need to worry. So after both these files are safely in the binaries folder, you are 100% fine. You should be able to run No Man's Sky now. Uh, if this worked for you, please let me know. If it didn't work for you, let me know. Uh, this mainly covers the issue with just booting up and crashing on the white screen. You never get to press E to load the planet. It just boots up, crashes on the white screen. Um, other than that, the uh, other thing you can do is uh, over in the graphic settings under No Man's Skies, Binary Settings, TK Graphic Settings, XML, you can edit some things in here that might help you with FPS. 
A lot of people who've been having poor issues, if you go to G-Sync value and change true to false and then save the file, uh, a lot of people have been reporting better FPS after that. I know that none of this is thing, none of these are things you should have to do to make the game run, but if you really want to play the game on PC like me and you don't want it to run like chopped butter, then this is a great option for you. Once again, let me know if it worked for you, and have a good one. I'll see you guys in my next video.